Now, I really enjoyed the feel of Innovate's Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max, even if it has got a ridiculously long name. Uh, good performing outsole, really comfortable midsole, especially out there on those long runs, no matter what the terrain. But it was a little bit let down by the weight, weighing in at 360 plus grams in my size. So it is definitely a heavy trail shoe, that's for sure. So when I heard that Innovate were making a lighter version, the Trailfly G280, using their new nitrogen infused compound fly speed i got all excited and i had to try them out the first run went really well since then i've put an extra 30 plus miles into the shoe so let's dive in and find out if lighter is better Welcome back folks and welcome back to another running shoe review. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Hope everybody is fit and well out there in YouTube world and speaking of well, unfortunately myself and Liga have been a bit poorly over the last couple of weeks and we picked up this nasty sort of chest infection. Uh, I haven't been able to run for two weeks which as you'll know as runners is super frustrating when you can't do what you love to do but I'm happy to say we are both feeling a lot better now and hopefully I'm going to get out for a run this week. We just recently uploaded our Halloween special. Now if you don't know I have been a massive horror film fan for years and years so it's become a bit of a tradition that we produce a video that's a little bit out there a little bit wacky to sort of celebrate this spooky time of year. If you haven't seen it a lot of effort went into it and it's definitely worth a watch that's for sure but uh, what I will say is if you do scare easily you might want to grab a cushion to hide behind so what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out but back to today's video and let's give you guys a few facts and figures about Innovate's new shoe the Trailfly G280. The Trailfly retails for £165 here in the UK weight wise it comes in at 330 grams in a UK 10.5 we've got an 8 mil offset on that mid sole so you get 22 mil on the heel and 14 mil under your forefoot it is available in two colorway options for men and for women and when it comes down to fit and size i would say that it sizes up pretty small so i've had to go up a full size from my normal uk 9.5 to a uk 10.5 and that very rarely happens in a running shoe and i'd say it's got good width and good volume in the toe box. Next up, let's break down the construction in a bit more detail. So this time round, Innovate have gone for this sort of new knitted upper design to give you that very comfortable, a highly breathable feel. We've got some reinforcement around the lace eyelets just for a bit of substance, but also to aid with durability. And then we've got this rubber overlay wrapping around the toe box to help with the flex points of that upper, but also to double up as a toe bumper to give you a bit more protection. And then finishing up, we've got a moderate level of padding around the ankle collar in that heel cup and in the gusseted tongue moving down to the midsole and this is the part of the shoe that really excited me because i love seeing running brands sort of pushing their boundaries and trying out something new so this fly speed compound is supposed to deliver a lighter and higher energy returning ride and innovate have tried to achieve that by infusing that foam with nitrogen so you should still feel nicely connected underfoot but you should have a good level of cushioning in every step and lastly the all-important outsole and the g in trailfly g280 stands for graphene and innovate have been working with the graphene material for some time now and it just so happens to be one of the strongest toughest materials in the world and they've been infusing it into their rubber outsole compounds and some of the midsole foams just to offer the runner sort of higher level of durability. You can see we've got a lot of other stuff going on on the bottom of the shoe as well. So like I mentioned, we've got that graphene grip technology and that's been paired up with this very chunky sort of four mil multi-directional lug pan to offer good levels of grip and traction on a big mix of different terrains. And then we've got this adapter flex groove worked across the midfoot. This is to give you a good level of flexibility in that midsole, even though it's quite a deep stack of cushioning. And that's going to allow you to sort of adapt and adjust when you're moving quickly on uneven ground, keeping you nice and connected and nice and stable underfoot. OK, so there's a bit of info about the new trail flies. Like I said earlier in the video, I've got a good 40 miles in the shoes now on lots of different types of terrain and in lots of different weather conditions. Uh, after that initial outing in the shoe, I did say that I was expecting that 
that fly speed compound to be a little bit softer and a little bit bouncier underfoot. Now, that could have just been because it was a brand new shoe and that was his first run. And sometimes these midsole compounds, they just need to sort of soften up and bed in a bit. I also said that I was gonna try it out with Innovate's brilliant boomerang footbeds, which I did. So let's dive in and find out how they performed. Firstly, I found that knitted upper design to be very, very comfortable, very plush internally, and just the right level for me when it comes to the padding around the ankle collar, in the heel cup, and in that gusseted tongue. And this hasn't always been the case for me in Innovate shoes. I have struggled with them when it comes to upper comfort in the past, and some of their models can be quite stripped back. So I've had sort of damage across the top of my foot from the laces because that tongue doesn't offer enough padding. And I have found now and again that their ankle collars can be very stiff and they've sort of dug into my ankle bone on longer runs and caused quite a bit of discomfort and irritation. Happy to say that hasn't been the case in these and I think Innovate have got the balance just about right in this. The one thing I would say, and I mentioned it earlier, is if you are thinking about getting a pair, you have to go up in size. This shoe sizes up really small, so I'd recommend at least half a size if not a full size like I have. And it's only ever in Innovate shoes where I have to go up to a UK 10.5. Also, it does have quite a lot of sort of volume and depth at the midfoot. And, you know, obviously if you've got quite a deep wide foot, then that's probably music to your ears. But my foot is quite shallow. So I did have to pull that shoe in quite tight to get that sort of locked in feel around my midfoot. It wasn't a problem. I got it locked down and I still felt nice and connected to that upper, but maybe it is just a little bit wide for my foot shape. The G-Grip outsole has performed well over the miles and I haven't had any issues when it comes to sort of grip and traction. And I'm actually a big fan of this graphene infused rubber. Uh, over the years on the channel, I've had a few comments where people have said that they sort of struggled when they've been running in wet, rocky environments. And that just hasn't been the case for me. You know, this has always given me good levels of grip when I'm running on wet rock and I've always felt very confident on my footing. With that lug depth only being four mil, it hasn't affected the sort of level of traction in a negative way at all. And they've actually performed really well in sort of muddy situations. I think a lot of that comes down to the sort of size and shape of those lugs. With them being quite big and quite chunky, they seem to give you good levels of purchase when you're running in wet conditions. Having that added bonus of that adapter flex groove is a great design feature. Uh, it was a feature that I wasn't sure about when I first ran in the Trailfly Ultra G 300 Maxes because I thought it was just gonna become a massive stone trap. And that really is a pet hate of mine when it comes to running shoes. Really, really bugs me getting stones caught in an outsole. Uh, I have to say it, I've never had a stone stuck in it in these or in the 300 Maxes. It really does add a good level of sort of midfoot flexibility which allows the shoe to adapt nicely when you're running on tricky underfoot conditions and even though there's quite a lot going on under your foot it still feels like you're running in an innovate shoe and it hasn't lost that well connected feel that the brand is known for and finishing up with that all new fly speed midsole and it's performed pretty well on most surfaces you know i could really sort of feel the trails under my feet while i was running and actually i was surprised how much i could feel them and Maybe it was a little bit too much for my liking. And you know, that new nitrogen infused foam maybe hasn't given me the levels of comfort or bounce that I was expecting. Don't get me wrong, it's not uncomfortable or anything like that. I was just expecting a, a little bit more bounce and a little bit more plushness from that new foam. Uh, I actually prefer the feel of the midsole in the 300 Max and definitely feels a bit plush or a bit more comfortable, especially on the longer runs. Um, the boomerang of footbeds definitely, definitely help when it comes to comfort and bounce, but it also made a difference when it comes to weight. So the new Trailfly with them footbeds in actually weighs 343 grams, which kind of defeats the object when this is supposed to be a lighter alternative. So there you have it, a few facts and figures and a bit of information about how they performed over the last month or so. But we've reached that time in the review where we need to get some points on the board. So let's get scoring and we're gonna start with price first. Uh, with the new Trailfly retailing for a pretty hefty 165 pounds here in the UK, it is quite an expensive trail running shoe and it looks like graphene has struck again. So 
All the shoes within the Innovate range that utilize this material are quite pricey. So it is gonna get marked down a little bit on price and we're gonna give the new Trailfly a five out of 10. On to comfort and performance and I've really enjoyed the shoe on most fronts. I think that upper's very comfortable wrapped around your foot and it feels nice and breathable. Uh, the outsole has performed really, really well. No issues with grip or traction on any surface that I've run the shoe on. The one thing I would have liked is a bit more bounce from that uh, fly speed compound in the midsole. Um, don't get me wrong, like I said, it's not uncomfortable, but I would like it to be a little bit softer. You can definitely notice the benefits of the weight saving compared to the 300 Max. The shoe feels a lot more balanced, but if you have to sacrifice maybe a bit of cushioning to achieve that lighter weight, then I'm not sure what I would prefer. So we're going to give the new Trailfly G280s a 7 out of 10 for comfort and performance. It would have probably got an 8 out of 10 if there'd just been a bit more softness to that midsole compound. Last to score is durability. And like I always say, this is a really hard thing to score after only running 40 miles in the shoe but it's looking very solid so far this new knitted sort of mesh upper design looks super durable no signs of wear on it at all flex point looking good and this hasn't always been the case in the past with innovates uh, durability when it comes to uppers there has been some issues but yeah looking like it's really well put together that graphene rubber i've always found it to be super durable over distance and i don't know whether you'll be able to see it if i can get it to focus but the rubber has still got those little dimples on it and that's after running 40 miles in the shoe and quite a few of those miles have been on tarmac. So it's looking like a well-constructed shoe. So when it comes to durability, we're gonna give it a solid eight out of 10. So tallying all those points up for the new trail flies is gonna come in with 20 out of 30. Let's talk all about the very subjective topic of looks. And I know beauty is in the eye of the beholder and you know, um, it looks okay. It's not the worst running shoe I've ever seen, but it doesn't really excite me. And I'm not a massive fan of any of the colorways that the shoe comes in. So uh, it's not gonna get a thumbs up. It's not gonna get a thumbs down. It's gonna be somewhere in the middle when it comes to the trail flying looks. As far as comparisons go, well, it is a very sort of innovate feeling shoe. So the Parklaw G280 would give you a very similar feel when you're out there running. Uh, also, you've got his heavier brother, obviously, the Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. As far as shoes from other brands, well, I would say Sockenis Peregrine 12 and maybe the Mountain Racer from Topo would give you a similar feel and performance when you're out there on the trails. So wrapping up with a quick conclusion, and I've enjoyed most of my time in the new nitrogen infused Trailfly. So so if you're looking for a trail shoe that's going to handle a big mix of trains and weather conditions, it's going to give you that nice sort of connected feel to the trails underfoot. Good levels of grip and traction to give you confidence on your footing when you're running in tricky conditions. And you like a bit of sort of room and depth from the fit when it comes to the uppers on your trail shoes. And I definitely recommend checking these out in a bit more detail. However, if you do like a sort of deep, soft, bouncy level of cushioning underfoot when you're out hitting the trails, then maybe these would leave you a little bit disappointed. And, and maybe the Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max is a better option. So there you have it, folks. Another trail running shoe review crushed at Run For Adventure. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. If you did, guys, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really, really simple to do, and it is completely free. Just by clicking on that little red subscribe subscribe box down there in the corner but don't forget while you're there to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload any new content uh, also if you'd like to show support to the channel we've got some great merchandise available at runforadventure.uk so i'll leave a link in the description below and you can also follow us on our other social media platforms whether it be instagram facebook or strava but for now guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel it's really appreciated we'll be back here very very soon and as always stay safe and keep on running i'm glad to say we are both feeling a lot better now so hopefully i'm going to get out for my run back from my run back the only thing that really let it down was the weight weighing in at 200 and no 300 not 200 200 it'd be good 360 grams <laughs>